nice sunny day and it's 20 to 10 in the morning Eastern Standard Time um, I'm going to try an experiment today because it's uh, so nice out anyways I've uh, tilted the angle of the uh, canopy uh, to the halfway point so this should be about a good 10 degree um, tilt and I've used some straps to uh, act as guy wires and tightening them up on the one side um, causes this guy wire to go tight which is good and the stability to rock it back and forth that's very good um, same with the back I've done the same thing with the back it's very good so I could drive with this and uh, encounter waves and I think I would be perfectly fine so uh, that's what I'm going to do this morning check out the performance solar performance on this uh, early morning and, and I'm looking in a, a southern southwest direction right now so uh, we'll see what the solar performance is and um, before the clouds roll in so it's quarter to ten and I'm getting 274 watts and 224, 223 watts with the uh, canopy tilted. So over 400 watts. Good. And we'll check that again uh, just down river here a little bit. Looks like we're into a little bit. More sunshine right now. What's it now? 297, 299, almost 300 watts. 222, three over 500 watts uh, at uh, quarter to ten in the morning on a fall morning. That is excellent. So I'm going to continue along. Uh, I'm going to do this a trip. Uh, right up until uh, I start heading west and then I'll have to uh, uh, put the canopy flat. Right now I'm uh, just cruising along at 6.9 kilometers an hour and drawing 570 watts and just to look down here you can see that I'm drawing only 2.9 amps out of the battery bank. So that's how uh, I could get to the point where I'm not drawing anything out of the battery bank and uh, or even when that is plus I will be uh, charging the batteries. So I could do that, I could travel along at a very slow speed and charge the batteries at the same time. So it is now 25 after 10 uh, and because it's in the fall, uh, I mean this is probably equivalent to maybe if it was July 1st, it'd probably be about uh, 20 after 8 in the morning, the way it, for the position of the sun. Uh, so this would be a good representation of a, you know, leaving early in the morning, getting underway. And uh, right now it's 333 watts on uh, the top one and 248 watts on the slave uh, controller. So I've been getting about between 550 to 600 watts uh, so far at uh, this time of, of morning. Um, up ahead I'll be turning pretty much due west and I'm gonna leave the canopy at this angle and uh, get a measurement uh, before I uh, flatten the, the uh, canopy out. It's 10:30 a.m. and now I am hitting due heading due west and the performance is still pretty good. I was at a uh, total boat oh, 650 watts total 305 and 229 227 so still very good 
Um, and that's with the panels uh, still tilted, but the sun is directly behind me now. So still pretty good performance. Um, I'm going to leave them tilted for now because I'll be turning more south uh, in a few minutes. Now at Deseronto and it is 10 after 11 in the morning. I have just hit 400 watts on the main controller, 289 watts on the secondary controller. 689 689 watts uh, for this time of year and uh, this time of day uh, that is pretty good so I'm going to be turning around now and uh, I'll check to see what the performance how it drops leaving the canopy tilted away from this just turned around and the performance has dropped from 400 down to 165 and on this other one, down the slave, it's 140 watts. Alright, so I'm going to uh, put the canopy flat, check the performance, and then I'm going to tilt it uh, to the starboard side. Okay, with the canopy flat, I'm at 307 and 232. So that's pretty good. I'm now going to uh, dip the starboard side. Alright, so with the uh, starboard side lowered, and I didn't lower it as, as low as I had it on the port side, but I'm getting 406 watts on the primary uh, controller, 296 watts on the secondary. So, just over 700 watts. Very good, and it is 11.20 in the, 11 in the morning. So, I'm heading back, and I'm now going into the wind. And it's probably about a 10 kilometer wind. Uh, and uh, the canopy's not moving around at all. It's uh, locked in pretty stable. Six kilometers from home and uh, testing's going good. I'm at about 780 watts uh, being generated with the uh, canopy uh, slanted on the starboard side by about seven degrees. Uh, so it is just 12 o'clock right now. Uh, so the indications are um, I can generate no, maybe about an average of about uh, 700 watts um, in the morning time during the summer months, uh, maybe you know first of July time frame. If I'm generating that much power now, I shouldn't have a problem in uh, traveling in the morning in July. So, uh, good morning's test. Uh, again, uh, and the wind is picking up now, it's about 15 kilometers an hour, uh, heading straight into it, and the uh, canopy is handling just fine. Right now we're getting uh, 460, 470 watts on the primary, and secondary 3, yeah, jumps around, there's a bit of cloud just cutting in. Um, in general, right now I'm getting about 800 watts and it is uh, 1220. the Napanee scrapyard and I'm going to take my trailer up and weigh it 
and then I'll do the same with the boat. So the trailer has been weighed and it is 780 pounds. Pretty hefty. Um, of course I had added these 2x4s, rollers, skids, etc. Uh, which increased the weight somewhat. But anyways, that's my benchmark for the trailer, 780. Uh, so next I will be doing the trailer with the boat.